Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today I went somewhere very peaceful and quiet with a friend and the atmosphere was really what I needed at the time. I feel like recently God is taking me through a phase where I call the waiting season and I am trying to stay positive and happy throughout the season and also learning new things like using the camera. The waiting season is a time where people do not know what to do. They are confused. They feel rejected. They feel like God is not doing anything. But I just want to keep this energy where we are happy. Show people that even in a time where you think it's really hard, you can actually stay happy and be happy anyways i love this environment so much and that's why i'm showing you all it's a city hall and it's really beautiful enjoy the rest of the video welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber you already know my name is chine hm the storyteller if you are new here welcome but then for both returning and new subscribers you notice that i got a new frame i think this is the best frame i have like for my glass and yeah i like it <laughs> i was praying one day and god laid in my heart to do a video about my waiting process or my waiting season we all have what god told us in our life or a prophecy that's been said about us but you know one thing that we don't know is when this prophecy comes the devil also knows that this is coming and I bet you that is when he wants to attack me. And that's why in the waiting season, we need to be really careful because it can either make you or break you. Waiting season can be very confusing. That could be a moment where you feel like God has rejected you. God has abandoned you. God has left you. You're just there. Nothing is working. No one is saying anything to you. Everything is like it's upside down you're praying there are no answers you're praying there is no there's just something that's just like god is not listening to me if you don't understand the why in the waiting season what is meant to be a beautiful experience becomes a problem a waiting season can be a time where you learn a waiting season can be a time where you just reconnect with yourself get yourself together for what's happening it's a preparation time some of the things that i've gone through you know is actually birthing a new thing in storyteller because it makes me to understand the pain that other people are going through and sometimes even with what you go through it teaches you compassion so that when someone comes to talk to you about what they are going through you're like i've been there you know i know how it feels this is what i did this is how to go about it and that's why I think that we don't live for just ourselves, we live for others. Because you are complaining, because you are rejecting, because you are looking for a way out. You don't embrace what is happening to you, the process you're going through at that time. And that's where the devil comes in. He starts to offer you alternatives, things that is going to cost you to settle instead of you to have more. During the waiting season, if you can descend very well, it could be the turning point in your story. Three things I've learned. God prints you, God prepares you, and then he positions you. But you need to be able to descend. I feel like we're in a generation or we are people that do not like to be patient. We want things done you know so fast i remember you know one time in my life i stayed for two years just praying i'm not even going to lie and those two years i was mocked i was laughed at i will not tell you that i wasn't doing anything i was working the job wasn't paying i think i was paying like 40k then it was hard to pray then it was hard to even look up to god i lost friends it was hard to even do anything but i always showed up every morning i wake up i'll go to work it wasn't really a good experience at all you know but those two years i i didn't i didn't complain i don't think i did no yeah i didn't complain i got to the point where i was not going to church because i wanted god to do something for me 
I, it was that moment that I knew that I needed a relationship with this man because there is no how I can trust him on my own. I needed strength. I was tired. And the only way I could build strength is via relationship, is through relationship with him. So I started going to church because I and listening to the word of God and working just because of a relationship. I at that point I was like, God, you know what? I'm not doing anything because by my power I can't do. I've tried, you know, I was I just want to know you more. That's what I want. And that's when I understood the part of the Bible that said, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing will be added. Just simple instruction, you know. So during that time, I just kept quiet and I was just, I said, see, I don't want anything anymore. Let's, let me just work with you. I'll be going to work. You know, I would be very, I love, science so much you know that was even when i knew that i wanted to be a scientist you know i just stayed in the moment i shut down every noise you know come on social media when i want to i dropped everything it was just me my relationship with god and my job i kept researching i kept praying that's what i did until god brought about my relocation even in that time i had to pray i told him I'm, should i relocate do i have to it took me one year to make the decision your waiting season can be the time where you discover yourself where you discover yourself so even when i moved you know to the united states i told her oh this is it this is it but then i entered another phase of my life that it was a bang every year <laughs> something had to happen and thank god for the strong foundation i already had you know before coming here you know i already built that relationship and i just stayed and in that my waiting season also on that and that because it's like every time there's always a phase right i learned to be quiet i learned to just be on my own it's not like i always on my own but i just love to hear what god is saying at a particular time and that's when a better storyteller that I knew that I needed to get people that are actually going through things because at that time God had placed so much compassion, so much empathy in my heart. Like I don't see things from the lens of pride because I would say that I was one that had pride. I see things on the lens of grace and mercy. It's not by your power, you know. So when someone is coming to tell me something, I'm just like, I know being there, you know. And even after that, then this year, boom, I was receiving it back to back and I had to go through into another phase. Strength is being built in the place of prayer. So I prayed. I was like, Chinaya, you've gone through like, you've, you've, you've been through phases, right? And this phase is not the one that's going to break you. How about you just pray those things that you've learned? Do it. I know I'm saying a story, but I hope that you're relating and you're getting the part where I just want you to know that no matter what you're going through, learn the lesson in that time. Instead of looking at it as a problem, look at it as something like a, a, a learning process. You have to get to a point in your life where you need to spend time with God. No matter how talented you are, no matter how great you are, just go and spend time. Let your waiting process be the time that you have. Because when you get so busy, when you get that blessing, when you become that person that is traveling Southwest, East, America, South America, Australia, Europe, my dear, you might not have that time anymore. You might not have that time anymore. So you pray long so that you can pray short, not as a routine, but because of the urgency in that season of your life, you need to hear from God. You like you get to that point where it's just God that can speak and you need to be quiet. You need peace. You need that isolation. It is necessary. It is that rejection was necessary. That disappointment was necessary because you need to go back to your place of prayer and stay with this man. In that time, 
of waiting. It could be 10 years. It could be five years. It could be four years. It could be three years. We don't say that enough. It could be a long time. But you need to be able to discern that this is a time where I just need to stay. You are not in a hurry to do anything. I'm at that point where I'm not in a hurry no more. I'm not in a competition with anybody. The same way I'm not in a hurry. I'm just going to wait on God's time. That's the point where I wait. When you're in your waiting season, I feel like that's your Kairos moment. You need to be very careful because the devil strikes at that time. And while you are still cooking, he will bring you down undone. And that's why you start seeing people manifest prematurely and they cannot even sustain that thing. Yes, God has told you something. He said, he did not say go. He has, he has, he has said, yes, you will be this, but he said you should go. No. People hear God said this, but you need to also hear when he's saying go. Because when he said go, he gives you materials. He gives you resources because he is the source there's a season in your life where there's an urgency you know to do some things i need to take it seriously because 20 years from now depends on what you're doing right now favor and deception looks the same we need to discern the flesh is very deceptive it will tell you that this is god and everything around your life everything surrounding your life will be pointing that this is god but until you wait, until you stay, you would know and discern that, mm, yes, it is God, but I have to wait. When you wait, you will see. There will be clarity. Instead of you to take a route that will take you five years, in waiting, it takes you months. It takes you days. These are things that have worked for me in time past and that's why it's giving me strength right now and i'm making this video and i'm telling you that i'm in my waiting season i'm in a season where it looks like everything is just static everything is just not there yet but i'm not afraid because if he did it before he'll do it again he has a track record of doing good he will not fail he has never failed that's why i'm emphasizing that we wait and when it feels like god is not speaking to me or is not answering me the peace i get actually that is god speaking and he's telling me wait daughter i have good plans for you my plans for you are good and not evil to give you what an expected end and the end is always good i know it's hard and that's why you have to get the best people around you for storyteller i am waiting Yes, there's a lot to do. There's a lot. Chine, do this. Chine, you've done this. Do, no. I'm not hearing God say anything now, so I'll wait. When he says, Chine, it's time. I'll go. It's hard because there's this urge to, shall I, to post what you're doing on Instagram. One or two, you know, just drop it, drop it, drop it. So that people will see that you're doing and you see that you're just productive doing nothing. You know, and I feel like there's so many lives that tied to me and i don't want to mislead them so i'm just waiting yes nothing is happening i'm not posted why are you not posted what if they leave you know i started thinking about that what if i leave in the group it's okay go brought them he'll bring more people he'll bring my people my way so um it's not easy and that's why you pray because when you pray there's strength for a time like this inconvenience tortures us a lot <laughs> and you see life will not always go smooth and that's why in this season god is telling me i will not leave nor forsake you i hear that so strong and that has been my guide that has been my strength and i want you to you know take that word that god will not leave nor forsake you even if the word abandons you god will not even if the word isolates you that's fine I'm at this point where if everyone leaves, that's okay. The fact that I have God, I will bloom again, you know, and that is like something that makes me happy when I think about it. I'm also understanding that some things in life cannot be accelerated. You have to pass through it. You need to. And um, in that time, what you do is pray for strength because there'll be strength. God always gives strength. He is your strength when you are weak. In the secret place, 
while you're waiting. God is not giving you money. I did not say God will give you money. But he's giving you something that both the rich and the poor they pay for. He's giving you an idea for a generation. Forget about who is laughing at you right now. Forget about who is mocking you right now. The Bible says the Gentiles will come to your light. There's no need faking what can be real. You know, when I start complaining or, you know, things like start getting so hard, the Holy Spirit reminds me that the sufferings of the present time is nothing compared. You know, when I read that scripture, it just gives me so much hope to know that in God's word, he has given us, you know, his words that should take us through. And that's why studying the Bible for me is like a comfort. The Bible also said, no weapon formed. Meaning, weapon will be what? Formed. So, <laughs> one of us will go through a lot. But what the Bible actually said after that is, they shall not prosper. So, no matter the weapons formed, it will not prosper. But will they be formed? Yes. But it will not prosper. So, this should be like, you know, things that should encourage you. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's going to be really hard like very very hard the best way to publicize yourself is in the secret place god is going to make and form you into somebody that will leave steps in the sand of time and when people see you they'll be like yes this person actually prepared for a time like this I really want to appreciate everyone who made it here this time. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video while I am waiting. I'm trusting God. Bye.